Welcome to the RAIN 12 Mark II Feature Overview. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the functions of our 12-inch motorized controller with its vinyl-like turntable control. The RAIN 12 Mark II houses a traditional turntable motor and platter with access to digital navigation and control, giving DJs a foundation turntable feeling with all the benefits of the digital world. The 12 Mark II now gives DJs full control over navigation, cue points, and instant doubles via USB or DVS audio to Tractor, Virtual DJ, and Serato. The design of the unit allows users to configure this in both battle and club style configurations. The RAIN 12 Mark II represents the ultimate in advanced music control for high performance and creative DJs. The 12 Mark II comes equipped with an updated die-cast aluminum platter with a rubber dampening. This ensures both a solid feel and good momentum. The platter also features traditional turntable strobe dots to visualize speed changes. The motor delivers a powerful 5 kilograms per centimeter of torque. Customize the torque setting to your style of performance with the high, low switch. Above the platter, you'll find a high quality slip mat that can also be replaced with a slip mat of your choosing. On top, there's a full-size 12-inch acrylic disc with a quick-release style clamp to secure or take off at the push of a button. The acrylic disc is custom designed for super grip performance in extreme settings. This disc controls 3600 ticks of resolution per rotation, giving DJs precise control over performance and music manipulation. This can be user replaced with any vinyl record by simply drilling three holes and fitting on the quick release clamp. You'll find other familiar controls, such as traditional 45 and 33 and a third speed controls and a rotary motor on-off switch for those classic turntable wind-down effects. The 12 Mark II features a dual-zone touch strip that toggles between cue mode and needle search. In needle search mode, you can scrub through a track to quickly access any part of the song at the swipe of a finger. The LED will indicate your track progress. Cue mode gives you instant access to your eight hot cues. To save a cue point, press an empty slot. To delete a cue point, press the cue mode button while pressing the cue point. You can assign control of the 12 Mark II to any one of up to four software decks with the deck buttons. The pitch slider has a generous 100 millimeter throw with a center detent for precise control. Direction arrows and a center light will indicate changes from the track's native BPM. The range of the pitch slider can be set to plus or minus 8, 16, or 50%. The newly designed plunger style start-stop button completes the traditional turntable feel, ensuring DJs don't lose that foundation feeling. Let's look at the newly added navigation controls. The scroll load encoder allows DJs to move within a playlist. The back button will move up the playlist folder hierarchy. Push the encoder down to enter a folder. To load a highlighted track, simply push the encoder down. The dedicated instant doubles button will load the same track from the opposite deck and play from the same point and BPM. Here, we have the DVS Mode Selector button. This will toggle which control signals are being sent to your software. The OLED display screen will indicate what software you're configured for. There are three different ways in which the 12 Mark II can communicate with DJ software. Via USB MIDI, the 12 Mark II's internal DVS audio output, or a hybrid of the two. To configure the outputs for the software you're using, press the DVS mode button until it flashes blue, and then press again to go through the options. The 12 Mark II will automatically select the currently displayed mode. This is confirmed when the button stops flashing blue. Let's go through the specifics on how the 12 Mark II interfaces with each software. Serato USB mode enables you to control tracks in Serato using the 12 Mark II's MIDI platter, navigation, cues, instant doubles, and touch strip via USB. The current track's BPM will be shown on the display. This requires Serato to be in internal mode. 
in Serato DBS mode, a Serato noise map audio signal will be sent from the RCA outputs to a Serato-enabled mixer or sound card like the RAIN SL4. Serato will need to be in relative mode. When in this mode, the USB output will still work to allow hybrid control of track selection, instant doubles, BPM feedback, and the touch strip. Tractor DBS mode will send the Tractor DBS audio signal from the RCA outputs to a Tractor-enabled mixer or sound card. In this case, the platter will control speed and playback using DBS, while control over deck, queue, and navigation will work via USB MIDI, giving you the best of both control platforms. Virtual DJ USB mode gives you full control over Virtual DJ using the 12 Mark II's platter, navigation, cues, instant doubles, and touch strip via USB MIDI. Virtual DJ DBS mode will send Virtual DJ's DBS audio signal from the RCA outputs. When in this mode, USB will still operate, allowing hybrid control of deck, navigation, and cue. The volume indicates the level of the DBS tone output and can be adjusted by turning the browse knob while the DBS mode button is still flashing. This may be helpful as some club mixers have hot input jacks. Underneath the 12 Mark II, we have the power switch. Next to that, the IEC power connector, which is able to take power inputs from 110 to 240 volts. Here we see the high-low motor torque switch. High will give you 5 kilograms per centimeter and low will give you 1.2 kilograms per centimeter. Next is the USB Type-B connection and finally the RCA audio outputs. That covers everything you need to know about the RAIN 12 Mark II motorized controller. Thanks for watching.